What's up YouTube, Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale and estate sale finds. I've just got a few finds to show you today, a little bit of jewelry and one big find um, that I got this weekend. I went to some estate sales and also a bunch of garage sales and this is what I found so let's get started. First up I got this vase, it was only marked $3, um, it's not chipped or anything and it is a Balik. 150 year, it's the uh, Songbird vase for $3. Pick that up, it's about a $30 piece. And then I got another piece of Balik, which is a little bit nicer, this basket. And it's got the older Balik mark. I want to show this. See there. So, um, that's probably worth about. Uh, $20 or so. Um, I see this stuff all the time at estate sales and they're always asking $30, $40 each. They're always asking a fortune for this stuff. Um, and it really doesn't sell for that much on eBay, so I don't know why people always ask so much money for the Balik, but most of it's pretty common. So there's that stuff. I picked up these two uh, gun holsters. They were $2 a piece. Um, this is a US one, and this is a Hunter. Um, I'm not 100% sure on which guns go in these, but revolvers, um, 1911s, stuff like that. So, two bucks a piece. They're only worth about 10 to 15 a piece, but if I get a bunch of holsters, I can list them in a lot and they'll sell. I got this little hand painted Nippon vase. Uh, you always look for the, the double handles or the triple handle. Um, that's a pretty desirable style. Uh, but this is just a little hand painted vase. And it's marked on the bottom. This Nippon mark's not that old. Probably from the 50s, maybe from the 40s. Nice condition. That was only a dollar. And then I also picked up this little glass paperweight. Um, and it's signed on the bottom there. Pretty cool. There's only a few dollars as well. Again, I almost forgot this. I keep uh, forgetting things that I found so much in the past two weeks. My house is just covered in antiques. Um, so I got this. I saw this on the ground at a garage sale. Uh, opened it up. And saw $4 price tag. Millennium Collection, brand new in the box. Uh, it's got an engraved 2000 on it. Um, you know, 65 uh, maybe $100 new. <laughs> so, for 4 bucks, pick that up. A little bit of flatware and miscellaneous sterling here. Um, always look out for these sterling handles. Um, a few of these aren't marked, but I know for sure that they're sterling. Um, just because you can tell the way the handle comes together. I want you guys to recognize how these look. The sterling versus the plated. The plated usually uh, you can't see this clear separation of the handle. and Also it's uh, a lot lighter. Uh, this is not very heavy. More detail. And this one like it's not even marked anywhere on the handle. It's just marked on the back of this blade where it says sterling handle. So you gotta look for that. Um, same thing with this one. Uh, I think this one's marked very faintly. But just look at the way the color is. How it's all nice and shiny still even though it's old. You can just tell these are sterling. Pay 50 cents a piece. Um, I got this spoon. It's coin silver. Um, cracked right there but it's 50 cents so whatever I got these I paid five bucks for two coasters I already broke them apart um, it's about 12 grams or so so good scrap and then this six dollars sterling uh, it's a little nail buffer emery board whatever um, weighs about 30 grams I'm not sure if this part might be filled uh, with some cement it probably is but for six bucks, 
it's more silver than six dollars worth of silver in there so that's pretty good I got a few pieces of costume jewelry I was hoping that this stuff uh, might be silver um, but this is not I tested it just copper and plated I paid a few dollars so uh, a little bit of junk there uh, these pair of earrings these are just uh, I just thought they were kind of interesting I don't know they're from Lucky or from Forever 21 or whatever but there's those uh, this one is Lucky brand and it's just a little filigree piece kind of nice I got this pile of silver chains a few dollars pair of silver earrings um, this is just scrap to me um, there's some more over here um, these are kind of nice these are you know the onyx and marcasite mark sterling on the back um, pair of sterling earrings and a bunch of small miscellaneous sterling earrings um, one of these studs is 14 karat but it's uh, stud x and stud x is the you know the piercing company so they're not real diamonds I've had several of those before <laughs> don't get fooled by the stud x um, that's definitely a CZ but a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver there uh, a couple more pieces of jewelry this handmade boy is sterling I tested him it's not marked that's silver this is silver this is marked very obvious marking um, and these are sterling they're unmarked definitely sterling little movable windmills big earrings I don't know who would wear these but got that stuff I got this watch the West Clocks watch it runs um, but it'll stop so it probably needs to be oiled up I paid uh, ten dollars for this a little bit much but I really like it um, this is probably my favorite piece that I got um, this is a little Denmark sterling and amber pin um, it's marked Denmark sterling um, and NE which is I guess for Niels Eric there, you can kinda see it really nice little brooch this is another good little find this is an Elgin um, 12 karat gold filled on sterling um, it's just a little Elgin 7 jewel watch um, brooch so that, and it's upside down so that you could look at the uh, time when you're wearing it pick this up for a few dollars I was wondering if this was gold for a minute but it's just silver I got some rings um, two of these are marked these two are marked this one's not marked um, probably just CZ and gold plated um, but this is definitely sterling you can see all the gemstones this is marked SETA or SETA S-E-T-A 925 um, they make a lot of uh, gold plated sterling jewelry and this one's also marked SETA and it's sterling and CZ's so pretty cool little rings for a dollar a piece um, and then I got these I thought these were a really good deal. They're antique cufflinks. Um, they were four dollars. Victorian, most likely. Pretty cool. Almost forgot. I also got these. Um, this is a sterling bracelet, Art Deco, with the blue stones in it. You know, the CZs. Um, that was eight dollars. It's missing two stones, but pretty good deal for something like that. And then I also got this um, 14 karat gold chain. Um, I paid $10 for the gold chain and a little bit of the costume jewelry. Uh, that's marked 14 karat Italy. Uh, weighs about 1.3 grams, so still about $20, maybe $25 worth of scrap so nice little pickup there so my best find this week was probably these two dolls I'm just gonna kinda show you them very quickly 
Again, these are very fragile, so I'm not going to try and move them around or anything. Um, but these are already up on eBay and have shot up to my number one listing. I've got like 17, 18 listings up right now. Um, and these just shot up to the top. So um, really old dolls. These might be from the 1850s or 60s. They're extremely old. And uh, they're from Germany. And you can see there are holes, moth holes, I guess they call them. And tears, I mean, all over this thing. It's all beat up. And there's the little one. So, this one actually has a paper tag underneath here, too. It says 1890. It's got a bunch of writing on it. Pretty cool. I picked the big one up for 20 bucks and the small one for 10 bucks. So, we'll see how well these do. If you like my video, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.